following the weekend bombing raids in Syria, a bipartisan group of U.S. senators has unveiled new legislation aiming to limit the White House's power to continue its global war on terror. For too long, Congress has given presidents a blank check to wage war. We've let the 9-11 and Iraq war authorizations get stretched to justify wars against multiple terrorist groups in over a dozen countries, from Niger to the Philippines. Our proposal finally repeals those authorizations and makes Congress do its job by weighing in on where, when and with who we are at war. The proposed legislation would require the president to give Congress 48 hours notice ahead of any new military action. Congress would then have 60 days to review that move. It doesn't set a limit for any military action. However, it does include a congressional review every four years. The proposal also expands the president's authority to take action against al-Qaeda, ISIS or the Taliban, but not a state. Now, the uh, current war powers have been in place since 9-11 and have been used nearly 40 times in 14 countries. We discussed the proposed overhaul with former U.S. congressman and presidential candidate Ron Paul. It more or less is uh, defining things slightly differently, but it wouldn't slow up, I think, the effort to go to war. I don't think it really repeals the war powers resolution. But it does say that Congress gives the president the authority to go to war against radical, violent groups like al-Qaeda and ISIS and maybe Taliban. But they say not a country. I really don't think it's uh, going to pass. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I, I only welcome the debate, but uh, I think they'll wake up and find out it's not doing anything, and that when they pass these resolutions, most of the time things get worse. This whole idea that you can fight radicals any place in the world, that's what they're doing already. It just gives more authority to the uh, type of policy that we've been following and getting us into trouble.